Thank you for joining me today. My name is Derek Dean, and I am the Senior VP of SCADA and ADMS at ETAP. I am very excited to share with you the ETAP Operator Training Simulator, or EOTS solution, and how it can help elevate your operations team to the next level. During this presentation, I'd like to discuss some of today's challenges to operator training, and then we'll look at traditional methods and identify the challenges faced with these methods. We will then take a look at the ETAP approach to operator training solutions with a detailed demo of some scenarios and some tangible key benefits of this solution. Across many industries, operators of electrical systems are facing many common challenges relating to their personnel. Throughout many industries, there is a measurable talent gap. There are rapid technological changes in many industries, from novel electrical architectures to renewables and microgrids. With the rise of automation and intelligence in the electrical network and the added complexity to today's networks, the consequences of actions become significantly harder to predict. These challenges can lead to delays, inefficiencies, and incorrect operator actions, which can result in losses in productivity and outages, fines and fees, and possibly even injuries and death. Even as networks get bigger and more complex, managers continue to need to develop solutions to train their staff. Often they are left with limited options that fall short of their needs. For many industries, the least effective fallback option is the generation of documentation and guides which are studied by trainees. This approach lacks the hands-on experience an operator would observe during an actual event. Another option is SCADA OTS. Often as part of a SCADA implementation, a sample HMI is configured with a spare RTU to give operators the real-world experience of opening and closing breakers. But this approach doesn't provide the operator with an, un an understanding of the consequences of those actions on the entire electrical system. Some industries invest in costly hardware simulators which provide a hardware-in-the-loop solution. Because this option requires a considerable expense in hardware and a significant investment on the implementation side, it is a less commonly applied method. Across all industries, what is critical is to have a hands-on training solution which allows operators to fail without adverse consequences, prepares them for certifications, and is an ongoing platform which supports continuous learning. ETAP EOTS allows operators to gain hands-on experience and safely learn through trial and error with their own production SCADA HMIs. The EOTS solution offers a unique combination of compatibility, functionality, and realism. By providing a training environment that closely replicates the live production environment, it equips operators with the skills and confidence they need to manage complex electrical systems effectively and safely. What sets ETAP EOTS apart is its ability to provide a full electrical field response to operator actions, all at a fraction of the cost of a conventional hardware simulator. The power of EOTS lies in its use of the ETAP digital twin and the calculation engine. With this technology, any scenario that can be evaluated in ETAP design can be presented to an operator in an EOTS simulation environment. This application-specific flexibility is achieved by transforming a design simulation to an interactive field response simulation in real time. The ETAP calculation engine includes a wide array of power system analyses, such as short circuit, harmonics, protective coordination, arc flash, and many others. Data from the calculation engine is transmitted from ETAP to the SCADA system as simulated field responses. As operators perform actions, such as opening and closing a breaker, the command is sent from the SCADA system to the EOTS simulator. The simulator then dynamically updates the calculations and the field response that are transmitted back to the SCADA system. This process results in a closed loop simulation where feedback is directly presented to the operator on their own SCADA screens 
in real time. This gives operators the first-hand experience of interacting with the actual electrical system, providing them with invaluable knowledge and training. ETAP EOTS is a game-changing solution that bridges the gap between simulation and operation to significantly enhance the training process for operators in the electrical industry. By providing a realistic, interactive, and cost-effective training environment, ETAP EOTS is redefining operator training. Now I'd like to take a few minutes to dig into some of the key features of the ETAP EOTS in detail. The EOTS solution is designed with a high degree of compatibility in mind. It seamlessly integrates with any SCADA system that supports the DNP protocol, which is a widely used protocol in the industry. This broad compatibility ensures that EOTS solution can be implemented in a variety of settings without the need to extensively customize or adapt your system. For example, one of the standout features of the EOTS solution is its ability to replicate all standard SCADA functionalities, including displays, alarming, trending, reporting, etc. These functionalities operate identically to how they would in a live production environment. This level of realism is achieved by remapping the communications in the SCADA system from RTUs and PLCs to the EOTS simulator. The result of this remapping process is a training environment where all applications in the SCADA system behave exactly as they would in production. This provides operators with a highly realistic training experience, allowing them to learn and practice their skills in an environment that closely mirrors their everyday working setting. Let's take a closer look at how the EOTS provides a full electrical system response. For each action performed by the operator, the entire electrical system is recalculated based on the actions. This feature ensures that the operators can see the full impact of their actions on the system, enhancing their understanding and decision-making skills. The EOTS supports system dynamic responses including generator dynamics, motor starting, transformer inrush, and many other capabilities. This is critical to training because operators often don't see these sub-second behaviors directly in their SCADA environment, yet they can face the consequences of them. This feature allows operators to understand and anticipate these dynamics, improving their ability to manage the system effectively. Also provided are relay protection capabilities, covering overcurrent, voltage protection, frequency protection, and many other protection capabilities. Training on these capabilities is through the fault scenarios inserted by the trainer or by trainee actions causing relay protection conditions. Any relay logic that can be modeled in ETAP can be respected during an EOTS scenario, providing a realistic training environment. Some key scenarios where this solution has shown to be instrumental in operations teams training include switch plan man execution, fault management and relay protection behaviors, motor startup, controller behaviors, black start, and there's many, many other actions that can be performed. A critical element of training is assessment of performance. With EOTS, the trainer will have visibility into all of the actions performed by the trainee. This gives the trainer a platform to walk through the electrical system with the trainee to see exactly what actions were performed and why these actions may be incorrect. Now I'd like to demonstrate a few simple scenarios to show where the power of the EOTS can significantly help the operations teams to prepare for various scenarios. In this example, we can see an ETAP SCADA HMI that is typically used in production for operations. In production, typically operations includes switch plan operations for maintenance and optimization, emergency response for critical events in the field, alarm management, reporting, and trending, and many other common activities performed by an operator. There is one critical difference in this example. Instead of reading data from the field, the data is populated from the EOTS simulator. 
This means that all of the annotations, the circuit breaker positions, etc., are being populated by the simulation calculations. Here we can see the operator performing simple switching actions. Notice the full system response to the operator's actions that I mentioned earlier. For example, when these two breakers are opened, we see how the system shows as de-energized. An alarm is generated for the adjacent feeder since it is now in an overloaded condition. All the logic and configuration for de-energization and alarming already exist in the production SCADA environment. The only change that was done was the mapping of it to the EOTS. In this next example, let's take a look at a more advanced situation where there's a fault on a bus, which results in a relay protection action. Prior to the execution of the training session, the engineer and trainer is able to define various scenarios to test the trainees. Using the same tools that are used for planning and design, we can create scenarios and evaluate the behavior of those scenarios. Once the scenarios are evaluated using the design tools, we can apply them to the training environment. In this scenario, a fault is placed on this bus after 10 seconds. In this case, the system was designed with proper protection and coordination design principles, so we can expect to see sections of the system become de-energized as a result of the fault. Let's start the scenario. Notice that after 10 seconds, the trainee sees alarms for CB trip, and a portion of the network becomes de-energized. Here's where we can evaluate the trainee's knowledge by reviewing the actions performed. In this case, the trainee first attempts to close the CB that was previously tripped. We can quickly see that the close command was unsuccessful. This should indicate to the trainee that this is a sustained fault. Next, the trainee makes a mistake and attempts to close the tie to re-energize the system which has become de-energized due to the fault. Since the fault hasn't been isolated, we can see that this was a costly mistake. The fault has now triggered a large section of the network to become de-energized. Learning from this mistake, the trainee now isolates the faulted section and re-energizes the remaining section of the network. This is a very valuable exercise because the trainee immediately saw the consequences of the incorrect actions. Next, I'd like to demonstrate the startup of a very large motor. For many systems, great care needs to be taken before starting up very large motors because the startup real and reactive power can be very great and can result in failures. Here we can see the initial conditions where there are two feeders which can feed the motor but the current conditions have one of the feeders de-energized. This is possibly due to maintenance. Next, a trainee launches the motor starting dialog and executes the startup. Now we can see that a large portion of the network has become de-energized as a result of the attempted motor startup. Ultimately, it seems that the motor is too large to start without both feeders energized. So the trainee next closes the CBs such that both feeders can provide power to the motor. Finally, with the correct initial conditions, the trainee can start the motor correctly. While the motor starts, notice the real and reactive power associated with the motor, as well as the upstream system as a whole. We can see that during the startup phase, the motor draws a very large real and reactive power from the system. Next, we can wear the trainer's hat and view the actions that were performed by the trainee. We can define which trainee environment we wish to connect to and walk through step by step to see the actions performed and how the trainee reacted. Additionally, the trainer can use the playback environment to run simulations to show how the system would have behaved if other actions had been performed. 
we've looked at how the EOTS solution offers a multitude of benefits, in no small part because it is natively built into the ETAP design to operation lifecycle to provide a seamless and efficient user experience. One of the key advantages of the EOTS solution is its integration with the ETAP design process. Users who work with ETAP design can effortlessly transform their model and scenarios into an EOTS solution. This eliminates the need to build a new electrical model from scratch, saving time and resources while ensuring consistency and accuracy. The EOTS solution exposes operators to real-life scenarios, providing them with instant feedback on their actions. This hands-on experience, coupled with the use of the same tools as production environments, significantly enhances the learning process. Operators can see immediate impacts of their actions, helping them understand the consequences and make better decisions in the future. By providing a realistic yet safe environment for training, the EOTS solution leads to a clear reduction in risk. Operators can experiment and learn without the fear of causing real-world damage. This safe practice environment helps operators learn how to avoid mistakes when they transition to managing the actual electrical system. Training with the EOTS solution enables operators to respond faster to various scenarios. They become familiar with the system's behavior and can quickly identify and address issues. This leads to more efficient operations and less downtime. Moreover, the EOTS solution contributes to creating a more intelligent workforce. Operators gain a deep understanding of the system, enhancing their skills and knowledge. This not only improves their performance, but also adds value to the entire operation. In conclusion, the EOTS solution is a powerful tool that offers clear benefits. It's seamless integration with the ETAP design process, realistic training environment, and contribution to risk reduction and workforce intelligence makes it an invaluable asset for any operation.